I understand we have Venus, the planet of love, changing signs. It that is. can be good or bad or That's all good. Venus is always good, no matter what. Venus is called the lesser benefic. So wherever it goes, it bestows good things. Even if it's in a hard angle to one of your planets, it's never bad. Oh, so so good. I thought we could use a little good news right in the middle of this Mercury retrograde. Is it almost over yet? God, no. It's not even over till next week. And you can see it by the Obama website, and you can see it by the state of Florida unemployment thing, and it's like, I wish somebody in the government would employ an astrologer. So, at any rate, for the 12 signs of the zodiac, um, we are in the sign of Scorpio, so with Venus going into Capricorn, the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up to near warp speed. Uh, but they find that they're, they have much more leverage in negotiating with contracts and any kind of agreements go very favorably for the Scorpio. For Sagittarians, um, this Venus in Capricorn is a wonderful thing because it's money out of the blue. It's earned income um, coming their way. They get an increase in money through the fruits of their labor, which is never a bad thing. Really? For a Capricorn, Venus in their sign brings love back into their life. It brings love in every sense of the word, with partnerships, with intimate one-to-one -one relationships, and they just get better press um, in general with Venus in their sign. With Aquarius, they have to give a little more than they get. Venus is behind the sun for them. Um, it's not a time to start new relationships. It's a time to give rather than receive, which... You can do that for four weeks. For Pisces, it's in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives, and a group effort serves the Pisces needs. So you can get a group of probably older, well-placed females to help the Pisces out. For Aries, professional um, eyes are looking at the Aries and evaluating the performance, and if they put forth even a modicum of effort, they get a very favorable response with that. So Good. if they're waiting to be evaluated for a promotion or an increase, they're likely to get it. For Tauruses, important matters at a distance go very, very well for them. They are on the road. They are not hanging around here. They are dealing with matters at a distance, and legal matters go very well because the law is on their side, so it's a very favorable time in general for Tauruses, for travel and for um, negotiations. For Geminis, money falls out of the sky on them. Venus in um, your eighth house means you benefit from other people's resources. This is unearned income rather than earned income. So if I was a Gemini, I'd probably buy a lottery ticket. All right. For Cancer, 7th House of Partners, their partnerships go well. This is a chance, if their partnerships have been rocky, it's a chance to pour oil um, to smooth out rough waters. If they're single, they'll attract someone. And if they're married, their marriage goes very, very well for them. For Leos, it's about work. Their work situation improves dramatically over the next four weeks or so. Um, and they get a very favorable report on jobs that they've already done. They get an opportunity to expand what they do, and it's as though some obstacle that had been in their way gets out of their way. And they benefit from an older female as well, which is kind of cool. For Virgo... Well, we got Christmas wish going, so i got oh, a lot of work cut yes, out for me, yes, but good do. work. Yeah, but it, it's good stuff. Yeah. Exactly. And it's not for you, it's for... The be it's, it's service related rather than personal gain or glory. For Virgo, love affairs, yay, go very well for them. It's time, if they're single, they'll attract someone. If they're married, their partnership goes well. And it's a very fertile time for Virgos in every sense of the word. So, Whoa. yahoo. Um, and then for Libra, the last time we're going to talk about is in their fourth house of home. Matters at home smooth out. They've had a very, very rough time at home the last couple of weeks or so. And that all smooths out for them. Um, also, Libras are likely to want to modify their home, beautify their home, and all I can say is have a budget because Libras have the most expensive taste in the whole world. So right, Andrew. Make sure you have a budget and then stick to it. So that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac with Venus entering the sign of Capricorn. Sounds good to me. Thank you, ma'am. Always a pleasure. See you next week.